Glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless. testing a brand new mower by Toro that draws the line between residential and commercial. This is what they call the prosumer model. It's a residential mower built on a commercial platform and we're going to be going to two abandoned properties that have not been mowed in years and we're going to be testing this mower out to see how well it can handle them. This could get interesting today guys. I don't know if it's going to make it through this. I mean, we're talking about six, seven foot tall cockleburs, buried stumps, buried. There used to be a house right here. This was a house. And they tore it out. I don't think they tore everything, took everything with them. There's a lot of stuff left behind. Let's just get started. It's, it's going to be an interesting day, you guys. Right there on the right, that's an abandoned mall. We're going to start there and we're gonna mow until the police show up and then we're going to the second site which we were just at which is a site that I've looked at for years and I've said forget it no way it's not mowable we're going there today all right guys here we are this mall's been abandoned for years they're breaking the windows they've got to board them up they're making this place look terrible. They've got cones up on the roof of this place. It's just an eyesore on the neighborhood. Let's clean it up a bit. Let's kind of walk in here and see what we're getting into. Cockleburs. So we got a couple tires. We don't want to mold the tires. Okay, we're gonna stay away from that. We're, we're gonna stay well away from that. Now this mower runs off from a Kohler engine, which I've never been a big fan of Kohler engines, so I wanted to make sure that you guys could actually hear how this thing runs firsthand. This was like mowing brush. Now look at right there. I don't even know what that is. It's like some giant tarp. Just like, uh oh. Did you guys hear that? That engine just. The engine was, it just went, I just, it, it sounded really good. So I'm mowing it multiple times because I don't want to leave the mulch on the ground. I want to get it mulched up as much as I possibly can. All 
All right, guys, well, here's the pile of garbage that we pulled out of just that little area. Old tires. I don't know, what is this, a roof membrane, bricks, just garbage litter. And here's what she looks like. I mean, look at what we were cutting, you guys. That's not small. That's some pretty heavy duty stuff. She just, whoosh, the Titan maxed it out. But we got the next site's actually gonna be worse than this one. There's gonna be a lot more buried debris, I know. I'll tell you why in just a minute, but before we do that next lot, let's meet the mower. Let's hook up with the engineer that helped build it, the product manager that put this together, learn more about this, and then let's get on down the road to the next site. You're Mendota Heights, right? Yep. You're one of my guys. <laughs> nice to meet you, by the way. So, yeah, everything's good. Okay. So We've had problems with the property, obviously, getting vandalized and stuff stolen and all that good stuff. That's... I figure I'd do a little mowing, a little cleanup around here because this is in my neck of the woods. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep. I'm, I'm out of here, by the way. Okay. So, all right. Do you work for the property then? Or? No, I live right in the city. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Just testing out the mower? Or? Yep. All right. Yep. Have a good one now. Good people. Honestly, I love my, my police guys. I got. One of the best guys, I, one of the, be, the best police officer I ever met. Scott Patrick, Officer Scott Patrick. Unfortunately got killed in the line of duty. That dude made this place feel like a community. He would come, I didn't even know him. And he would literally just come to the house, pull up in front and we would just visit. We would just chit chat. And I was like, oh my God, this is, literally what I feel like real police are man anyway that's my two cents I miss the guy getting welled up he was a good guy shot in the head man shot in the head yeah All right, guys, I think it's time we met the machine, but let's meet a couple of the guys that actually helped design and build this thing. We've got Clint, the product manager, and we've got Derek, one of the engineers that helped originally design this thing, right? Okay. All right, guys, so this thing is kind of a unique beast in and of itself. This is actually a residential mower built with commercial components, right. if I understand this correctly. Yeah. Can you walk me through what that actually means? Yeah, so one of the things that you'll immediately notice about this machine is that it is built on the ultra sturdy tubular steel frame of our Z Master 2000, which is our entry level commercial uh, lineup. Um, and not only does it go uh, just with the, with the steel frame, but we've got 3,100 hydros, which you're also gonna find on some of our entry level. Oh, you've um, got commercial level hydros on That's this. That's right. And we've got a 26 horsepower Kohler 7000 series engine as well. So not only do we have a frame that is the ideal chassis for you to just mow down whatever mother nature puts in your way, but on the back end of this thing, we've got an absolute monster uh, that's just pure American muscle that will send you down <laughs> in a hurry. I love it. Um, you got some pretty meaty tires on this thing too. So, yep. but you did that intentionally. Is that right, you guys? Yeah. Yeah, what, right. what was the idea with putting such big tires on this thing? Well, so with this particular machine, we wanted to strike a balance between not only giving you uh, an aggressive tread pattern and an ultra wide uh, tire that's going to really maximize traction, but the increased circumference of this tire at 23 inches also puts the rider in a slightly elevated position for optimal visibility as well. One of the things that's interesting to note too about the tires and the hydros and the engine, the combination of those three is that this machine will send you across your property at up to nine miles an hour. So it is ideal for a customer that needs to cover a lot of ground and needs to do it in a hurry. And you've got a seven gallon fuel tank. And a seven gallon fuel tank. So not <laughs> only can you cover your property quickly, you can go and go and go. Now, 
it's got an elevated stance which gives the operator better visibility i read in your guys' brochure but does that throw off its center of gravity at all yeah so what we tried to do is make sure with this machine that we struck a balance with everything so performance is everything to this customer and so uh, whether it was tire selection hydro selection engine selection even seat selection we wanted to pick the components that were going to give us the best machine possible and give that customer the best experience possible and one of the things stands that Sam that's really important to follow up on that is that that combination of things is mm -hmm. the reason why we only have one SKU. So when you go in and you ask for a Titan Max, this is the Titan Max. So there is no engine selection, tire selection. There's no other things to change. We have set out to design the perfect machine so that when you go in and ask for a Titan Max, this is what you get. So Derek and the team, you and Derek and the rest of the team, put together what you guys feel is the best absolute combination and that's what you guys offer to these guys. One of the things though with this raised height, you've also widened the machine which is gonna give it better stability on slopes, plus it's got a more aggressive tire pattern. Um, so how does it cut though? <laughs> well, so a lot of people will see a machine like this and they'll say, man, that thing looks aggressive, but I bet it can't cut grass worth a lick. And we've got competitors that honestly, that's what you get. But with this particular machine, it is outfitted with a 60 inch iron forge deck cutting system. And people who are familiar with Toro will know that that means that this particular machine is equally at home mowing down the back 40 as it is leaving you a perfectly manicured piece of grass up by your home. This machine is a jack of all trades and it can do it all. God, Clint sells a good game. I kind of just want to go out and start mowing. Holy crap. I think actually we're going to go. Clint, it was nice to meet you. Derek, don't talk so much. Um, it was. We got to go back. We got to go start mowing some more. We got to meet the machine, but let's keep testing this thing and see how it does. So we're off to the next site and this site you guys I've been looking at for years and I just walk in and shake my head and walk out and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute because I know the guy that used to live there and he was here we go all right guys this one could get really interesting because there used to be a house in here and the guy that lived here was always burying stuff in his yard not a joke because he flagged me down i would drive by this road and he'd stand on the corner and he would wait for me and he would flag me down and i'd be like and i'd pull into the yard and he actually had the entrance was over here i'd pull in and he'd be like hey can you just push this over to here for me and I'd be like, yeah i can here for you and then all of a sudden it's like dude can you bury this? I'm like, no, I can't bury this. And like this whole back area, he was always put trying to get me to bury stuff back here. All this stuff. There's a ladder, bricks, pile of asphalt, old lawn mower. All right, let's go in here and see what we can do or what the Toro can do. on the trailer with the flap all the way down. That's a big mower. So this is the first colder engine that I've ever ran. My engine of choice is Kawasaki or the Briggs & Stratton Vanguard series until I tried this thing out. So I'm just gonna shut up and let you guys just listen to it home.
Today's drink of choice, you guys, is my absolute favorite. It's Great Waterloo. Love this stuff. Like straight out of the can, this is the best. I also like that Dr. Pepper mixed with Pellegrino, Grigio water or whatever it is. Diet Dr. Pepper mixed with it. It's pretty decent. This stuff just as is is pretty decent. It's a good day at work when you can get covered in cockleburrs. I'm grateful that you get to go outside and work. This thing keeps going. What do you guys think of the sound of it? God, this engine. I'll tell you, I've never been a fan of Kohler until today. Never been a fan of Kohler. Go make faucets. But after listening to this thing, there must be something to them. Let's find out. Find out. Oh my God, this headphones. They keep grabbing my whiskers. I have more chin whiskers in my headphones than I got on my chin. So if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my face, I do have safety goggles and hearing protection on this one. God, these blades gotta be, these blades gotta be beat to crap. All right, so let's see what kind of goodies we found down in this hole. Oh, concrete. No, oh, that was, this one wasn't fun to find. More concrete. Concrete, concrete, concrete. I don't think the Titan likes concrete, but it's not slowing it down. So let's just go in there. Let's see what we can find. So welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> this poor mower. <laughs> welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, mower. This is what you're gonna be doing forever. These blades gotta be shot. These blades gotta be just toasted. They're so very junk on this side. I got sunshine in a bag, I'm useless. See if it can handle that. This was the first time I actually heard this engine bog. Was right here. It's not even that bad. Now 
that was the worst it bogged down. Um, everything I threw at it today, right there, that was the worst. All right, you guys, I've thrown just about everything I possibly can at this mower. In fact, this is the worst site that I've ever uh, mowed. Um, I've actually known about this site for a couple years. I've looked at it. I've came in more than once and backed out, shaking my head, said, yeah, there's no way I'm going to mow this site because of all the stuff that's buried in it. Uh, we've got, this was kind of a great example of what this mower is capable of doing. I think we got an area full of wet leaves heck yeah i mean you guys can mulch them up or whatever i mean that's a great example and then over here we got we took care of this i never thought i was going to get through this you guys if you would have said yeah I just you're gonna go mold that bowl where the house used to be i'd be like nope no i'm not because that's not mowable the unmowable spot and there it is it's good that's the best that uh wow i mean we hit stuff we were hitting stuff left and left and right and we were mowing over some pretty big pretty thick stuff We didn't show this thing any mercy, did we? That's our video for today, you guys. Hope you had fun. I had fun. Man, did I have fun. It's always good to hang out with you guys to test new equipment, testing out this new mower for Taro. It's pretty cool. You guys got to hear it firsthand, see it firsthand. You guys tell me what you think of it. And that's all I got. God bless you guys. Hope you have a good good holidays whatever you may be doing i hope you're staying safe hope you're enjoying life and we will see you guys on another one catch you guys later that's my officer friend's number now he's got a highway named after him right in my hometown